Welcome to my first look walkthrough tour of Bering Marine's BM34, an impressive full cabin model that pushes the boundaries of marine engineering. Designed as an asymmetric foil assist catamaran, the BM34 is constructed with a robust 5083 aluminium hull, complemented by a 20 degree dead rise at the transom for enhanced stability and seaworthiness. With her twin 300 horsepower outboard engines and a cruising speed of 30 knots, the Bering Marine 34 promises both power and pace on the water. Its fuel capacity of 240 gallons in two 120 gallon fuel tanks and a commendable range of 350 nautical miles ensure long trips without frequent refueling stops. This BM34 has a double cabin layout, fully insulated marine plywood walls and ceilings, and a design that prioritizes comfort and functionality. So whether it's for cruising, fishing, or merely experiencing the thrill of the sea, the BM34 is all about delivering an unparalleled maritime experience. So join me in this video as we take a look around this boat and take it out for a sea trial. And if you haven't already, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and to give this video a like. Bering Marine 34 offers powerful engine choices. An owner can choose from Yamaha's 300, 375 or 425 horsepower options or Suzuki's 300 and 350 HP variants. Which option would you go for and why? Let me know in the comments below. The cockpit boasts two big 460 litre capacity fish boxes and macerator pumps. The deck also has six Ceredi aluminium hatches for extra storage. The BM34 also features an optional external helm station in the cockpit. This additional control point provides enhanced visibility perfect for docking, fishing or navigating in challenging conditions. With it, you're not just confined to the cabin, but can pilot your vessel in the fresh open air, right where the action is. It is good to see a fire extinguisher located here. If you need one, you can grab one from our maritime stores on Amazon. You'll find links in the video description. Behind this hatch under the external helm station, you will find easy access to some of the boat's essential wiring. Overhead, there is lots of storage space for fishing rods, and you'll also notice the Fusion stereo system that has a total of four external speakers. Note also the two high-powered LED spotlights, which keep the cockpit well lit at night. Let's head inside and take a look around. The Bering Marine 34 features a fully insulated head, providing privacy and comfort while on board. The walls of the head are constructed with easy to clean white fiberglass and hardwood panels. The head comes with a 12 volt electric marine toilet that features freshwater flush and a Corian sink with a stainless steel combination tap. You'll find a practical and well equipped galley in the heart of the BM34's cabin. I'd love to take this boat away on an extended weekend voyage. Underneath the cooktop, there's a Dometic Cormatic refrigerator with a 45 litre capacity. For those essential items you want to keep close at hand, three storage drawers are located under the sink with additional shelving on the wall. The galley also features a durable Korean countertop and a stainless steel sink. And now let's have a look at the helm position. At the helm, the plush chair with armrests allows for long hours at sea with minimal fatigue. The engine throttle controls are located to starboard next to the handset for the VHF radio. Everything is within easy reach. The start stop controls for the twin outboards are in front of the engine throttle levers. Here you'll also find the controls for the autopilot including heading and course hold and track point function. This switch panel controls the water pump, black water tank pump, deck lights, underwater lights, aft flood lights, helm lights, cabin lights, and horn. There are two large Garmin multifunction displays with a digital display for the outboard engines. When you're undertaking fast navigations at night in rough weather, then you can never have too much information on display, so I'm a big fan of these multifunction displays on this helm. 
Here we have the controls for the electric windlass that controls the galvanized anchor with rope and chain combination. Next to that are the various switches for the bilge pump controls. This boat also has a joystick control for the twin outboard engines offering greater ease in maneuverability and precise boat control. They work by synchronizing the individual engines and allowing for multi-directional control at your fingertips. The joystick can actually move the boat forward, backwards, side to side and even spin it on its own axis. This can be especially helpful in tight marinas or while docking. But what do you think of this helm station? Let me know in the comments below and remember any comments which are sent with a super thanks are always guaranteed a response. Stepping into the cabin of the Bering Marine 34, we're greeted with a welcoming and practical space. Lighting is well taken care of with LED cabin lights that provide ample illumination, while a Lumar deck hatch allows natural light to filter into the area. The cabin features a double berth providing comfortable accommodation for two adults. The cabin walls are made from fiberglass and hardwood panels, and for storage there's a dedicated under berth area. At 140 by 2000 by 18 centimeters, this bed is actually quite spacious. As a former Matlow, I'd be quite happy spending weeks at a time in this cabin. After spending several years on warships, anything beats that. On the port side are the controls for the fusion sound system. There are also two handy cup holders and a grab rail for when things get a bit gnarly. One of the things that really stands out for me about this space is just how light and airy it is. Thanks in part of course to the big windows on both the port and starboard side of the cabin. The really comfortable seating also gives this space a very luxurious and high end feel. In my opinion you can use the Bering Marine 34 either as a work boat or either as a high end luxury fast cruiser. For added peace of mind it's also worth pointing out that the boat comes fitted with a marine carbon monoxide detector smoke detectors and of course type B1 fire extinguishers. The electrical system on board also features two starter batteries which are 12 volt 75 amps as well as one house battery which is a 280 amp 12 volt battery. In terms of the fresh and black water systems there's a 20 gallon black water tank with macerator pump, shore and direct overboard pump. The fresh water tank has a capacity for 36 gallons and has a Hydro 4 pump, plumb to a head, galley sink and the toilet. Under the dinette seating area there's some additional storage space and there's also some very handy sockets in the bulkhead. One of the things that Bering Marine pointed out to me during my time on board was just how operator friendly their vessels are. You don't need any special knowledge or skills to operate the vessel. Of course, it's always wise to make sure you know what you're doing and that you have the proper qualifications when it comes to boat handling and navigation. But if you find yourself on a weekend trip with somebody who doesn't have a lot of experience when it comes to handling boats, then they can still help you out as and when you need some downtime. In a minute, I'm gonna talk a little bit more about the boat's performance and handling when we head out on our sea trial. But for now, let's head back out onto the deck and head forward so I can show you the bow. As mentioned already, the galvanized anchor has a chain rope combination. The deck gear comprises a stainless steel bow roller with an EZ puller electrical windlass operated by the control switch on the helm. As my subscribers probably already know, I'm a huge fan of the forward raking windows and I think they give this boat a really great look. Atop the coach roof you have a powerful searchlight and the antennas for the VHF and GPS. There's also the Garmin radar. Personally, if this was my boat, I'd want to raise that Garmin radar by about two or three foot by putting it on its own dedicated radar mast. When it comes to radars, then generally speaking, the better the elevation, the better and more detailed radar picture you'll get on your radar display. Back on the deck on the bow, there's plenty of storage space as well.
Making your way around the upper deck on both the port and starboard side is easy thanks to the side decks and of course the big sturdy grab rail. Something that's essential when you're going to be moving around on the upper deck or an upper deck like this when out at sea. Down on the deck here, you also have access to the fresh water tanks and also the fuel tanks. Now we've finished having a look around the upper deck and inside the Baron Marine 34, I think it's time for a sea trial. With the twin 300 horsepower engines fitted to this boat, she has a cruising speed of 30 knots at 1.6 nautical miles per gallon. Her top speed is 40 knots. At this speed, she will manage 0.8 nautical miles per gallon, and with her throttles fully open, she can get up to 42 knots. The unique foil assisted technology on the Bering Marine 34 provides an impressive self correcting dynamic. The foil carries between 40 to 75% of the vessel's displacement, reducing the hull's volume, decreasing drag, and improving seakeeping. Reducing the drag on the hull's underwater section improves the boat's fuel efficiency. This equates to lower propulsion requirements, reduced fuel consumption, and a lighter vessel. The hydrofoil wings create an intrinsic dampening effect, giving the vessel a much smoother ride. This enables the boat to operate at a higher average speed in rough and unpredictable seas. Lowered resistance and decreased propulsion power reduce the wake wash signature, which is beneficial for waterways that have wave wash restrictions and limitations. For those in need of a boat that is capable of reaching speeds beyond 30 knots, especially in rough conditions, then the foil assisted catamaran design of the Bering Marine 34 is a good contender. It's also worth pointing out that Bering Marine offers the walk around cabin as well as the full cabin variant. If you'd like to find out more about the Bering Marine 34, then I'll leave a link in the video description. A big thanks to Bering Marine for allowing me access to this incredible boat. If you've got access to a boat you'd like me to feature on my YouTube channel, then feel free to ping me over an email. And don't forget to check out my second YouTube channel called Boat Boy. You'll find the link for that channel in the video description. As always, I'd like to say a massive thank you to my channel members. If you'd like to join them in becoming a member of my channel, then click on the link pinned in the comments below. Before you go, please don't forget to check out my other videos and playlists. I've got some recommendations in front of you now, which I'm sure you'll love watching. So until next time, fair winds and following seas.